Hello everyone and welcome to a very exciting video. Today we are talking about the Yorvik Wild Horses and they are coming out next week and I'm very excited. This was completely unplanned uh, for me because I am currently working on video. Actually, I just finished filming uh, videos uh, for when I go on vacation on Friday and uh, this just sprung sprung up uh, like, hey, New Yorvik Wild Horses. I was like, all right. Yay, I have to completely switch everything around, but that's alright. Um, so yeah, you guys, we are getting new Yorvik Wild Horses. Now, the Star Stable hasn't really confirmed how many are coming out. We know of two. They said two. But we don't know if that's all that's coming out, if there will be more. Um, obviously there will be more in the future, but we just don't know for this update. Um, they only said two, but you never know if Star Stable throws the surprises at us. If they're willing to throw this surprise, I'm, I'm obviously sure there will be more. Um, so, yeah. We have your Wild Horses. I'm going to break down the trailer. I'm going to talk about them with you guys. Um, thankfully, I don't have to compare them to real-life horses because this is our stable zone breeds. This is going to be a pretty easy video. I'm also going to talk about why they're so expensive, get into that, and kind of break it down for you guys in the best way that I can. Um, so let's go ahead, let's start with the, with the music, and then I'm going to, uh, obviously stop and then talk about it. So, let's go. Okay, so that's the trailer. I don't want you to play again just yet. Okay, so I'm going to go for the video and just pause it at certain parts and just kind of break it down again. Okay, so here are the colors. Um, we have the black Appaloosa, or I think it's a black, it's kind of like a grayish black. Um, and then we have the, I believe it's a Grulio, um, Brindle. Um, so they're loose tanos. A little disappointed that they're not your, um, Clydesdales and our Swedish horses, but I'm fine with it. Uh, especially after reading why they chose the loose tano for this. Well, kind of why they chose the loose tano for this. Um, so let's continue. They are very, very pretty. Um, Alright, so this is their um, wild colors. Obviously, they're modeled after trees. And with the Midsummer event, I get why it's modeled after trees and flowers, and it makes sense. Um, so, we have, obviously, the Appaloosa turns into a birch tree. And the uh, Grillo turns into a very uh, pretty um, cherry blossom tree, which I actually really like. Um, I like that they chose these trees because there's not really a lot. When I think trees uh, for Star Stable Horses, it's kind of wish-washy. It, it's a little bit difficult. Um, but I do like how, at least from the trailer... From what I can see how they're executed, they're very, very pretty. Um, I really like them, so let's continue on a little more. All right, I wanted to pause here because I do like... Um, one thing with me for Star Stable Horses is the eyes. The eyes have to be right... Or it doesn't make the horse look correct, if that makes sense. And I love that the Grillo has um, these very, very bright gold eyes. Very pretty. Just wanted to kind of point that out, because I don't think a lot of people notice that. 
All right, here's kind of a close up on what they look like. I actually really like how they turned out. I think this one has pink eyes, and I think this one, this one definitely has green. It's just with this one, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Hang on. There we go. Alright, so that's kind of it. That's really all I have to say on that. Um, so breaking down why these horses are so expensive. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go to this post. Here we go. Alright, this is from Star Stable. Uh... Uh, this is from, yeah, this is from their Instagram. Okay, so, um, he's bringing along two extremely rare Jorvik wild horses. They're actually the only ones of their kind that Gary has ever seen. This means they will only be the only time Gary has them for sale, so make sure you collect these beauties before they disappear for good. Uh, on July 24th. These are also the fastest Jorvik wild horses. They'll easily keep up with any other horses on Jorvik. Gary will let you bring uh, his Jorvik wild horses home for um, 9.50 star coins each. Go check them out next Wednesday, June 26th. Okay, so that's a lot of information. Uh, let me break it down. Um... Jorvik Wild Horse, the old Jorvik Wild Horses we know, are known for being uh, stocky, draft-type breeds, first off. Um, they're also known to be slower than uh, normal horses. And, um, what else? They're known to have a cheaper price because of this. However, not with these horses, and I can understand why. So I'm going to kind of break it down for you like this. Um, pros and cons here. Um, and kind of horses are expensive, um, than others. Compared to the old, old are slower, um, than normal horses. And also the fact that it's not the same type of model. Uh, these are probably the biggest reasons on why the price is set to the normal Lusitano price compared, um, to... Um, the old price. I'm actually going to check real quick because I want to see if that's actually the Lusitano price because I don't think it is. I think it's actually cheaper. So I'm going to check real fast um, on why uh, it is what it the price is what it is. So hang on. One star coin more than compared to the uh Lusitanas we have in game. Uh, the normal uh, breed Lusitano is 949 star coins compared to uh, these um, Jervic Wild Lusitanos. They are, I believe, uh, 950. So they're off by one star coin. Not a big deal. Um, but it's a big deal for the price. And as you can see the chart right here that I'm going to have right here for you guys, um, Yorvik Wilds are, compared to old ones, these are the reasons why. Um, compared to the old ones, they are a slower version, and they are um, not really considered rare. It's very unusual for this breed to come in uh a lusitano form standard and the reason why is your wilds for years have had a stocky draft type build um not compared to the original ones because this was just coming out at the time but um like the first ones like the one where the contest yeah um so to see um them be very stocky 
uh, type drafts is what we're used to. And again, I was a little disappointed that there weren't Clydesdales, but that's all right. I'm completely fine with that. Um, so now that they're Lusitanos, I kind of understand why. And this probably means we won't see uh, Lusitanos um, probably ever as your Wild Horses again. We don't know. But because they are extremely rare, it's probably just stating that we probably won't see them in Lusitano form again. This probably will be, if they are, if they do come back as Lusitano, so we consider it very rare, and hence the price hike that we see. Uh, again, I will have a chart at this end, of, probably will show it about now. Um, just showing you guys um, how it all works. And why they're priced higher than normal. Um, but that's really all I have to talk about. I am very excited for these horses. Um, the price hike isn't a big deal to me. Um, now that I understand like where the price hike is coming from. And because they're faster. And all these different variables. I don't know which one I really like more. I like um, the Black Appaloosa obviously because of its coat. Uh, cause I love spotted horses, um, but then again, there's the Gruya version, um, the wild version, which I really like, uh, so it's very, but I do like them both, and I probably will end up buying both, to, um, on Wednesday. Um, I do actually have names picked out, I picked out names last night, and yes, you can name your horse Cherry Blossom, for those wondering, um... But yeah, that's it. That's all I have to talk about, you guys. As always, keep it positive. Happy trails, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Bye!